So I'm just outside the MAC makeup at the Toronto Eaton Centre and we're gonna see if they can transform me into the Bold Glamour TikTok filter. By now, you've probably seen the Bold Glamour effect that has been circulating on TikTok. In case you haven't, it's a beautifying filter that drastically changes the way you look. Skin appears smoothed, brows are perfectly arched and filled, lips are fuller, and the face is perfectly contoured and lifted in just the right way. Reaction from the internet has been swift, with many worrying about what the impact will be on young girls and women comparing themselves to this filter. And it's just scary because there's a lot of girls out there that don't realize when someone's got a filter on and they're chasing perfection because that's what they think everybody looks like and this is not what people look like. Some have even gone as far as to call the filter psychological warfare and pure evil. While beauty filters are nothing new, what is new is the technology used to create the effect. Unlike traditional filters, which use a combination of artificial intelligence and augmented reality to layer makeup onto the skin like a mask, Bold Glamour uses generative AI to actually recreate your face in real time on your live video. Today I learned that this new viral beauty filter was created using machine learning. Unlike traditional beauty filters that use an augmented 3D face mesh that is overlaid on top of your face, filters like Bold Glamour Teenage Look uses a machine learning tech called GAN, meaning every pixel on your face is regenerated and then outputted after referencing another data set of images, which is why the filter looks so realistic. Machine learning was also used to create another recent viral filter called Teenage Look, which transforms users into their teenage self. This new tech makes it increasingly difficult to detect the technology at work, which makes it less like a filter and more like a deep fade. This is, I'm wearing no makeup right now. This is all a filter. Naturally, I had a few questions. The first, is the bold glamour effect even achievable in real life? To find out, I went to the experts. So I'm just outside the MAC makeup at the Toronto Eaton Centre and we're gonna see if they can transform me into the bold glamour TikTok filter. Let's go see. Okay, so here we go, this is the final look. Let me know if you think it looks like the filter. I think it's pretty damn close. So it turns out that makeup can get us pretty close to the bold glamour effect. Although there's something cartoonish and otherworldly about the effect that can't be recreated with makeup, as if I were a Bratz doll or an avatar version of myself. Even getting close to the bold glamour effect took an hour and a half and 22 products. If I were to purchase all of the items of makeup that the artist used on me to achieve this look, it would cost 902 Canadian dollars, and that's before tax, and it doesn't include any of the brushes. And maybe that's the advantage. Bold glamour is an effect that lets me step into the life of someone who is both bold and glamorous, someone who knows exactly which products to use and in what order to apply them, someone with the time and skills for beauty. It shows me the possibilities for myself if only my skin were a bit smoother, my teeth were a bit whiter, my lips a bit fuller. But to what end? I can't help but wonder who gains from making me feel like my natural, unfiltered face isn't enough that there's always ways to improve upon myself and that my face is a site for various effects and techniques meant to shape me into some idealized beauty standard. I'm reminded of a quote from Naomi Wolf, who in her seminal book, The Beauty Myth, wrote, beauty is a currency system and like any economy, it's determined by politics. Now I know that the criticism of impossible beauty standards perpetuated by the media, patriarchy, and capitalism isn't new, but it's also not solved. Even Meta's own research showed that platforms like Instagram have harmful effects on teens especially girls. What is new about the bold glamour effect is that it was created and released by TikTok itself, not an effect house creator. For those who don't know, both TikTok and other apps known for their filters like Snapchat and Instagram offer a suite of tools for digital artists to create, publish, and share high quality augmented reality effects. Both Bold Glamour and Teenage Self seem to be TikTok testing out new updates to its effect house that were released in February of this year that experiment with this new kind of generative AI. A kind of AI that's not just augmenting reality, it's recreating it. Bold Glamour is about seeing the possibilities for yourself in another reality, in hyper-reality, where the representation seems so much better than the real thing. Except this time, the thing is me. For Technality, I'm Amanda Costco.